I wondered why the surprise of a rainbow doesn't catch your card when you're aging, or when you're saging against some time-ordered sense of life, you feel more lonely than the knife in the cupboard of your memory. <coughs> Bang! Silently the picture goes, and as I grow, I am this zeppelin of doubt. I find the sky, it is not somewhat comforting, chokes me makes me see the reality of what I am, and the stem of that has no rose. The egg of it wise in the Galapagos eyes doesn't come and support me. I am once again alone, paying rent, wondering why I am doing that. I'm not a white man. I'm not a black man. I'm a cat. You know, behind that eye, you see electronically that presents you with that flotation collar that eases your sense in the darkness when you are home alone and the stone you be no longer threatens you. You have to contain yourself with your own Shakespearean what's old, what's new, what have I done to push me through the maze out of my clock. Another reverie comes to me in these rooms I heard of hotel dysentery, sense of time. I was deep in Kennedy's mind, his eyes as I was dressed in grays and coordinations of other days to stand and push people on the aisle of their history to make sure the mystery of their doubt would find some significance as they sat alone in that day, in that night that they own. Hold on, babies. Who are you these days? I banged against it. Pots and pans banged against it like some Chinese mystery. Dance into the street of choreography where someone would point at me. Not as punishment, but some sort of applause. The silent hand of that dreaded one hand clapping. What the hell is the use of that these days? We need more approval, we know that. Toughen up, tighten up, find the wings you rent, act as if you own them. The sky is so belligerent, and yet when you stand with your face facing that demand, it loves you, it hugs you, and unfortunately, it will never leave you alone. Bang! Sensuality comes to play against this day. My poetry doesn't rescue me anymore. I stand against this bar, this clock, this hawk I am singing. What can you give me to help me through the next day? I need to pay rent. I need those terrible phone things I carry around me like rings of destiny. I need someone to tap me on my shoulder and pay me 10 cents a dance. I will gladly do it. A thousand dances, rent is paid. <laughs> I trundle away for that thing in yesterday's and it comes to me as I wake again. Oh my God, I say, I have another day. It presents itself to me. 24 hours I can scour wise to be, my dance, my regret, my pent-up sense of leaving behind the spine I thought would support me and now leaves me soft and lonely, searching for, of course, poetry. And bang, there it is. It hangs above me like some neon sign. I say, excuse me, can I get in here? And it says, you may, but getting out might take another day. <laughs> oh, babies. I lean onto its little egg, I say in the Galapagos eyes, without surprise, I know I'm going to hatch. I know I'm going to be the catch on something that holds me, that makes everything of Lerf's gravity, a wondrous sense of what I'm worth. It holds me up. I'm the puppet of its thirst. I satisfy it by just showing up on time. And as we know, time is all we have. And then I end my day as I always do, sitting on the knee 
of Shakespeare. <laughs> Staring into the clock, the dot, the tick and the tock that follows me as if I'm worthy of this infinite sense of possibility. I sit on its knee and I feel Shakespeare, Shakespeare's hard stitch, his pantaloon. I look up to his eyes and I say, William, how did you do it? <laughs> Good night. <laughs>